Hey, this is TJ. It's Brock. It's Justin. And we are the Pizza Knights. A couple weeks ago here in Lost Wages was the Gamma Trade Show. No, not the Greek letter. The Game Manufacturers Association. Now, while there are a bunch of games announced at Gamma, here's a few that we wanted to talk about. Ones that we're really excited about. First up, from our friends at Fantasy Flight, we've got Forbidden Stars, a humongous box filled with miniatures and cardboard and miniatures and dice and more miniatures. Set in the Warhammer 40,000 universe, Forbidden Stars is a big ol' huge strategy game where you play one of four races, either the Orcs, the Space Marines, the Chaos Space Marines, or the Eldar, on their quest for galactic domination. Next up, we've got Legendary Secret Wars by Upper Deck. It's going to be the biggest expansion to Legendary since Dark City. It's actually going to be bigger. And it's going to be based on this 2015 storyline that's coming out. A game I'm really excited for is by a company called Plat Hat Games, and it's Ashes, Rise of the Phoenixborn. This is like Highlander meets an MTG. There can be only one. Now this game is like a deck building TCG like card game. It's two to four players with expandability with multiple corsets, uh, multiple game modes, and it's a deck builder. Who doesn't love a deck builder? Well, I love deck builders. From our friends at White Wizard Games, we've got Epic, another $15 small box game packed with gameplay. In the box, you'll get a bunch of cards, they say about 120, of four different factions similar to the ones from Star Realms, and it's designed to be like a trading card game in a very small package. You can play draft, you can play sealed deck, you can play customized decks. Looks like a lot of fun, and I'm excited to play it. Flick em up! Oh my god, that's just a fun name to say. Pretzel Game, a new label under Z-Man, is coming out with a dexterity game with a cowboy theme. It's got great scenarios, and you flick... Cowboys, what's not fun about that? Flick them up, check it out, seems like blast. We have Assassin Con that's coming out by Mayday Games. It's gonna be a secret movement and an assassination at an assassination convention. So basically you're just going to be assassinating assassins. It's gonna be awesome. Expansions are very important. So Machi Koro Millionaire's Row is coming out. It is going to be great. You thought Machi Koro was mean before? Wait until this. And while not being released for the first time, it is being released in English for the first time, and that's a little Russian game known as Spyfall. A fun little party social deduction game about trying to figure out who's the spy in your party by asking questions and figuring out who doesn't know where they are. Oniatama is going to be a simple abstract strategy game, and also the third game in the Dice Tower Essentials line. This could be very entertaining and very fun. Who doesn't like kidnapping pawns? And you guys have no idea how excited I am for Millennium Blades, the next new game from level 99. You and your friends each play a group of people that are into collectible card games and the market that surrounds it and such, and you play tournaments and you buy packs and you win special promo cards and things like that. The Kickstarter should be up within about a couple weeks and I am definitely going to be a backer. Now for my favorite one, we've got the DC crossover pack. It's gonna be back Cryptozoic, there's small expansions for the DC deck builder. We have the Justice Society, we have Arrow, we have Legion of Superheroes, and then my favorite is Watchmen. There's going to be four of them. They're coming out at different times in the year. It's going to be great. And lastly for me, we have Portal, the uncooperative cake acquisition game. Again, it's by Cryptozoic. It's going to have some awesome components like the Companion Cube. But other than that, we don't really know much about it. All we do know, it's going to be out sometime this year, maybe, hopefully. Yeah. And while we listed off some of our favorite ones, there were a bunch we were excited for, so let me just tell you a few honorable mentions that we didn't have time to fully go into detail about. We've got Suburbia 5 Star, the expansion for Suburbia, Favor of the Pharaoh, a reworking of To Court the King, Seven Wonders Duel, a two-player version of Seven Wonders designed in conjunction with Bruno Catala, Ascension, Dawn of Champions, an expansion for Ascension, a new faction expansion for Imperial Settlers, which we don't know much about yet, Open Sesame, a cute little push-your-luck game by Antoine Bauza. Viceroy, which was printed in Russian but is now coming into America. Uh, Bomb Squad and Bomb Squad Academy, my tasty minstrel games. Fuse, Eminent Domain Microcosm, Cthulhu Realms, and Artifacts, Inc. 
All right, guys, those are just a few of the games we're really excited about and a couple that we wanted to mention just to get you guys to go look at them yourselves and see what you guys think about coming up. Fuse to me looks pretty cool. So we have Tabletop Day coming up at Shall We Play. That's going to be on April 11th. Come down, join Justin and TJ. I sadly will be in California celebrating, as Justin likes to call it, Second Easter. And they will be there with the camera and you guys can be interviewed and talk to us and whatever you need to know. We'd love to talk to you. So come out on Tabletop Day, April 11th at Shall We Play. If you need information on that, we will put a link below to their website. We're also working on our BattleCon video. That should be coming out hopefully in a couple weeks. We're really working on that script right now. We want it to come out really nice for everybody. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We are the Pizza Knights. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>